let's start by learning what are the benefits of getting Power Platform certified, and more particular, why the PL900 exam? Let's start by talking, why do we even want to get a Microsoft certification? Microsoft certifications can help give you a professional advantage by providing a globally recognized and industry-endorsed evidence of mastering skills in a digital and cloud business. According to multiple studies, 91% of certified IT professionals say that certification gives them more professional credibility. 94% of decision makers agree that certified employees provide added value, and 52% of certified IT professionals say that their expertise is more sought after within their organization. And let's be honest, certifications can also help you in the financial aspect of your career. 28% of technical professionals said that getting certified led to salary or wage increases, with most of them seeing that increase in under three months after getting certified. 21% of technical professionals reported job promotions after getting certified. Personally, I really found that getting certified has helped me land better positions and getting paid more throughout my career, so I'm really personally a huge fan of certifications. Now, why Power Platform? Truth is, low-code and no-code applications are a growing trend inside the enterprise, and there is a huge need for skilled professionals. If we take a look at recent statistics, according to Gartner, by 2024, low-code application development will be responsible for more than 65% of application development activity. At the same time, 75% of large enterprises will be using at least four low-code development tools for both IT application development and citizen development initiatives. Another interesting statistic from 451 Research is that nearly 60% of all custom apps are now built outside of the IT department. Of those, 30% are built by employees with either limited or no technical development skills. This last one is really interesting for me because the Power Platform is really meant for both IT professionals and pro developers, but also for users with no IT education or specialization, which are really part of the core audience for the PL900 exam. I mentioned a lot of general low-code statistics, but what about Power Platform specific? The Microsoft Power Platform is a leader in the latest Gardner Magic Quadrant for enterprise low-code application platforms, and they have also been in the previous years, and Microsoft is really investing a lot in the Power Platform as one of their core cloud offerings, so I really expect it to be one of the top leaders in the future as well. Now if we talk about the Power Platform certification portfolio, there are currently seven Power Platform certifications. One fundamental level certification, five associate level of certifications, and one expert level certification. If we look more in detail, the fundamental certification is the PL900 exam, the star of this course, which gives you the Microsoft certified Power Platform Fundamentals certification. Now, this certification is optional, but highly recommended before you move further to the associate level certifications. The first associate level certification is the PL100 exam, which gives you the Power Platform App Maker Associate certification, and it's aimed at users outside of the IT department who create apps and automations with the Power Platform. We then have the PL200 exam, which gives you the Power Platform Functional Consultant Associate certification. This is really more advanced than the PL100, and it's aimed at IT professionals or really consultants that use the Power Platform to create solutions for their organization or for clients. 
afterwards, we have the PL400 exam, which gives you the Power Platform Developer Associate certification. Next up, we have the PL300, which really focuses on Power BI and gives you the Power BI Data Analyst Associate certification. And finally, for the associate level, we have the PL500 exam, which is really dedicated to robotic process automation in Power Automate. For the expert level certification, you need to already have passed either the PL200 or the PL400 exams. And then along with exam PL600, you can become a Power Platform Solution Architect expert. Now that we have done an overall view of the Power Platform certifications, you can really see where the PL900 fits in. It's the foundation of the Power Platform certification portfolio that will really test you on the fundamentals of the Power Platform and will be your first step towards showing off your Power Platform skills. What is really important to remember is that as this is a fundamentals level certification, this will be useful whether you're an expert and ultimately your goal is the PL600 certification and becoming an expert, or you might be a business user, a project manager that simply wants to understand all of the solutions in the Power Platform to better understand the projects you're working on. This fundamental level certification will give you that solid foundation, however far you want to go in the Power Platform certification portfolio. Now that we have done an exam overview, let's learn what are some of the learning materials available on Pluralsight for this exam. The best way to study for this exam is by using the Pluralsight certification path. The PL900 path includes seven courses. This one that you're listening to right now, which are almost done, and six courses that cover the content. While six courses might seem like a lot, they are actually split in a way that makes it easier for you to study. Each course covers a specific Power Platform skill, such as Power Apps and another course for Power Automate, but together they cover all of the different objectives of the PL900 certification exam. This also allows you to really study or re-listen to certain areas that you feel that you need to put some extra attention on. Now, let's also talk about practicing before the exam. First of all, Microsoft provides a number of free sample questions that you can practice with, and you can find those from the exam page or the link in the slides. There is also an official practice exam by Measure Up, and you can find the link to that from the exam page. There is an extra cost for the Measure Up official practice test. Now let's talk about practicing in your own lab. The six video courses will really cover all of the knowledge you need in order to pass the exam. However, there is no better way to reinforce your learning than to practice and replicate the scenarios and solutions in your own lab. Microsoft actually enables you to practice for free with the Microsoft 365 Developer Program. It gives you a renewable 90-day Microsoft 365 E5 tenant that you can test things with, and you can even pre-provision some sample users and data. You can sign up for free at the link in the slides, and remember, you can download the slides from the exercise files of this course. If you already have a test tenant, you can use the Power Apps Developer Plan, a free developer environment to build and test with Power Apps, Power Automate, and Microsoft Dataverse. Check out the link in the slides in order to learn more. On this, I want to wish you a happy learning journey for the PL900 exam. Personally speaking, it was a really fun exam to take and by studying for it, it really motivated me to learn a lot more about the Power Platform and get in the details. If you work with the Power Platform often and you want to improve your skills, 
and prove to everyone that you know the power platform, this exam is for you. Thank you for listening to this introduction to the PL900 exam and happy learning.